Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be going over 30 interesting war strategies used by ancient Egyptians. But before we start make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. And without further ado let's jump right into it. Number 1. Chariot Warfare The ancient Egyptians were renowned for their use of war chariots, which provided mobility and firepower on the battlefield. Number 2. Phalanx Formation Egyptian infantry often fought in a phalanx formation, with soldiers forming a tightly packed shield wall to protect against enemy attacks. Number 3. Siege Towers During sieges, the Egyptians used siege towers to gain a height advantage over their enemies and breach fortified walls. Number 4. Naval Warfare The Egyptians had a formidable navy, which they used to control trade routes and launch amphibious assaults on coastal cities. Number 5. Tunneling In siege warfare, the Egyptians would often dig tunnels under enemy walls to weaken their foundations and cause them to collapse. Number 6. Scorched Earth Tactics To deprive their enemies of resources, the Egyptians sometimes employed scorched earth tactics burning crops, and destroying infrastructure. Number 7. Ambushes Egyptian soldiers were skilled in the art of ambush warfare, lying in wait to surprise and overwhelm their enemies. Number 8. Night attacks Under the cover of darkness, Egyptian forces would launch surprise night attacks on enemy encampments and fortifications. Number 9. Decoy forces Egyptians sometimes used decoy forces to draw enemy troops away from their main army and into an ambush. Number 10. Psychological Warfare Egyptians would use psychological warfare tactics, such as loud war cries and intimidating displays, to demoralize their enemies. Number 11. Camouflage Egyptian soldiers would often use camouflage to blend in with their surroundings and launch stealthy attacks on enemy positions. Number 12. Counterintelligence The Egyptians were adept at gathering intelligence on their enemies' movements and intentions, allowing them to anticipate their tactics and strategies. Number 13. Hit and run tactics Egyptian cavalry units were skilled in hit and run tactics, harassing enemy supply lines and withdrawing before the enemy could respond. Number 14. Feigned retreats. Egyptians would sometimes feign retreat to lure their enemies into a trap, then turn and counterattack when the enemy was vulnerable. Number 15. Fortified camps. When on the defensive, the Egyptians would construct fortified camps to protect their troops and supplies from enemy attacks. Number 16. Alliance building. Egyptians would form alliances with neighboring kingdoms and city states to bolster their military strength and deter potential invaders. Number 17. Sapping. In siege warfare, the Egyptians would use sapping techniques to undermine enemy walls and create breaches for their troops to exploit. Number 18. Poison weapons. Egyptians sometimes coated their weapons with poison to inflict greater casualties on their enemies. Number 19. Psychos. Egyptians used war elephants, known as psychos, to trample enemy soldiers and break their lines. Number 20. Crossbowmen. Egyptian crossbowmen were highly trained marksmen who could deliver accurate and deadly volleys of bolts from long range. Number 21. Use of mercenaries. Egyptians would sometimes hire mercenaries from other regions to supplement their own forces and provide specialized skills or equipment. Number 22. Religious propaganda. Egyptians would often invoke the support of their gods and goddesses in battle, using religious propaganda to inspire their troops and demoralize their enemies. Number 23. Faint attacks. Egyptians would sometimes launch faint attacks on one flank of the enemy's army to draw their attention away from the main assault. Number 24. War drums. Egyptians used war drums to communicate commands and coordinate their troops' movements on the battlefield. Number 25. Shock Tactics Egyptian chariots would sometimes charge at high speed into enemy lines, using the shock of their impact to break enemy formations. Number 26. Use of terrain Egyptians would take advantage of natural terrain features, such as hills or rivers, to gain a tactical advantage over their enemies. Number 27. 
Caltrops, Egyptians would sometimes scatter caltrops on the ground to impede enemy cavalry and infantry movements. Number 28. Flanking maneuvers, Egyptians would often attempt flanking maneuvers to outflank and encircle enemy forces, cutting off their retreat routes. Number 29. Siege engines, Egyptians used a variety of siege engines, such as battering rams and siege towers, to breach enemy fortifications. Number 30. Naval blockades, Egyptians would sometimes impose naval blockades on enemy ports to cut off their trade and supply lines, weakening their ability to resist. And that's it for today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. See you next time.